James Vowles has revealed how the best teams remain on top of the constructor rankings despite the cost cap regulations. Former Mercedes chief James Vowles says that the F1 cost cap stops teams lower down the grid from catching the best constructors like Red Bull. The cost cap was introduced in 2021 and set a maximum budget for teams with the aim of making Formula One more competitive. Although Vowles affirms that the idea is in the right place, he claims teams near the bottom are still struggling to compete with the best in the sport due to the equipment and resources they have accumulated over the years. There's the operational budget cap, which is the number that most people know, he told race fans. That's the $145 million, which is not really $145 million, it's larger than that because there's various corrections applied to it, that's the number everyone thinks of the cost cap. That bit, I'm completely in support of. It's a good thing. It's why these businesses are now becoming sustainable. It's why Formula One's growing the way it is. What wasn't a good decision is we have a capital expenditure side of the cost cap. When I had my Mercedes hat on, unfortunately I knew what this would do which is why we were so keen on signing it up and restricting this. At Mercedes we had about $300 million worth of equipment that Williams does not have. That's locked in and no one else would ever catch that up. And even if they could, imagine how long it takes you to spend $300 million, get the money together, put it in place. That's why the big teams signed up to the cost cap very quickly. And, for small teams, what it meant is that we're fighting really with one arm behind our back by comparison. Red Bull were recently found guilty of breaching the cost cap, initially set at £114 million, $145 million, and were fined £5.5 million, $7 million. Reductions have been made to the original budget and teams are now limited to spending no more than £119.5 million, $138.6 million, this season.